So in this video, I'll be talking about Chester Brown's Paying For It. Certainly not a new book, but I'm reading it for the first time. It's my first library borrow since uh, the beginning of quarantine when everything shut down. Um, and it is a book about being a John and paying for sex, which I have mixed feelings about. I definitely uh, think that people should be able to do what they want with their bodies. But I also think, well, for me personally, I think intimacy should be earned and something you should share with someone you definitely want to. And it's fine if everyone doesn't feel that way, and I don't expect everyone to feel that way. Uh, it's definitely a provocative book, and I feel I feel bad for him at times, but I don't at other times. He talks about, in the beginning of the book, having a girlfriend, Sukian, a very lovely young lady that he lives with, and her wanting to basically branch out from the relationship and start dating another guy even though they live together in an apartment she starts seeing someone else when they're still living there and he's fine with it uh, and basically the evolution of him feeling like he needs to be in a relationship to him feeling like he doesn't because it's too much trouble and then Kind of just being like, well, the only thing I really need is sex, so I might as well just pay for it, and the rest of my life is fine. Uh, so he starts doing it, and he talks about uh, trying to figure out how to safely find a prostitute that he doesn't find totally gross. Uh... So, he finds, he finds some nice young ladies at first, he kind of goes through each of them, uh, going, first going out, you know, to find them, first in the street, and then through ads, and eventually through, like, since this was early 2000s, the internet was not quite the resource it is now and uh, so first he goes on the street to look for women and is not quite as lucky but eventually it evolves into kind of having a system about it like looking at reviews online I guess there's, there's places online you can like this whore was great this whore was not great I mean it's it's totally fine uh, and just goes through basically his relationships with these different women and kind of how he decides who he wants to go to and who he doesn't and what he feels comfortable with. I think some of these sex scenes are really, really great. It's really an embarrassing thing to draw yourself having sex. I've never done it. I've had people surprised that I never have because I write about a lot of embarrassing stuff, but I... That might be a little personal for me. Maybe I will in the future. He does also talk about developing feelings for certain women and wanting to go back to them. Which makes me a little sad because he really denies like wanting a relationship, but he also gets attached to women. Like he goes back to this specific one named Anne. Um, and there are repeated women that he likes to see. And I think it's because he develops feelings for them. But 
I can't judge. He talks about a lot of women in here. Kind of each woman, each uh, chapter is named after a woman after the first one. Where it was, there's Angelina, Anne, Angelina again, Amanda, Anne again. So obviously he likes Anne, Susan, Anne again. We can guess who his favorite is, Wendy, Anne again. So I think. I think he probably really likes Anne and maybe doesn't want to admit it, but it's his prerogative. He he's a he's a strange kind of dude and he goes back to Anne over and over again. I think he's a little bit disconnected from his feelings. Uh but I also can't blame him. Being single for the last two years has been really hard, and I can understand not wanting to have the frustration of having one partner, but in the same token, I couldn't ever see myself paying for it. Uh, and kind of towards the end of the book, he goes back to just seeing uh, one woman. And still paying for it, like not, not like trying to weigh her down with a relationship, but just continuously paying for the same woman. Uh, and it's, it does make me a little sad because I think he, I think everyone wants to be in love and feel loved and feel needed. So that's kind of my opinion on it. He's a little crazy, so I certainly can't judge him. He ends up going to see a woman named Denise for a very long period of time. And then, uh, kind of the last fifth of the book is all back matter on different views on prostitution and from both sides. A lot of it he's uh, analyzing more anti-prostitution views, which I find really interesting because it's a lot of feminist talk, which I think is kind of hypocritical because I think uh, as I consider myself generally a feminist and I, I think women should be allowed to do whatever the hell they want to do with their bodies. So if they want to sell it, go for it. It's personally not for me, but I don't think anyone else should be able to tell you what you can do with your body and it certainly shouldn't be taxed if you make money that way and the only regulation I think should be because of like disease. That's it. Otherwise, you should be free to do what you want. Uh, I think I give this book 4.5. I felt really satisfied after reading it. 4.5 out of 5. It made me feel a lot of things and think about a lot of things and I think that is what reading me well any art any art should make you feel things and think about things and think about yourself and that's exactly what this book did. So I recommend it if you haven't read it. It's definitely not new and I found it in my local library so you can probably find it in yours but if you can't you can support Chester and definitely buy it. So, all right. Thank you very much. Have a good night.